Hi, hi, it's the tiny one size species. And you're probably wondering, what's this new setting? I think I shot a video just once before, and that was my spicy noodle challenge with Junk Boy. But today I already recorded one video. I don't know if you can tell or not, um, but that video will be before this one, my dry shampoo test. But I did have some things that the junk boy picked up for me that are, and that I got that I wanted to try out on camera, because why not? Um, first off, which we won't be trying, is some awesome Joe Cola, because I tested this on my channel before, so you already know what it uh, looks like. Um, the thing that I want to try, I decided to try something actually healthy, healthy, <laughs> before something um, sweet. And I got this, it's Kraft Trio Snack Rolls. Now, I got into these type of things uh, because of mom. Mom used to have um, these little snack trays. It was like three in the snack tray and it was real good. It was a nice little treat uh, that I can enjoy, you know, and especially when it's, you know, I'm getting hungry. It's between meals, that sort of thing. So um, this one has Monterey Jack cheese, dried apples, and granola clusters. Okay. Um, I wanted to get more than one of these, but these were on sale. And the only other ones that they had had uh, brownie bites in it, which you know I can't have. So just sticking with the one. I'm going to try the cheese first, the Monterey Jack cheese. It tastes like Monterey Jack cheese. Um, the granola bit. Mm. I haven't had granola in a long time. It's very good. And then last, we got the oh, two more come. Dried apple bits. Mmm. Oh. My god, those are really good. It's got like an app, um, not an apple the other apples. It's got like a, um, what is it? A, um, gummy, like a slight gummy texture to it. But yet it's, hard you know like with a hard gummy but very good um as you can see everything is on in its own container nothing is contaminating the other oh it's very good and according to this there's 50 percent more good so uh, source of protein that's what that says all right next is a product that Junk Boy was able to get mm -hmm. for me again. This, and I'm testing this product again because I don't remember if, um, I don't remember if I tested this product before, so why not do it again? It is the Gimme S'more, I don't think I tested this one, candy bar from Lolly and Pops. Can you see that? There we go. And uh, he also got me a birthday cake bar, which you've seen me test before. I'm not going to test that again. So let's see. This has 33 cacao, smooth milk chocolate, plastically paired with marshmallow and graham cracker bits. Oh, I think this is one of their sample bars. <laughs> <laughs> because it's either one of their sample bars or the junk boy took some already, which is a no-no because he's allergic. Like, I'm allergic to the, um, what is it? Um, I'm allergic to one of the additives that they put in. 
my brain is failing me, so I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I'm allergic to one of the things that they put in chocolates in the United States to help like purify it. Um, but the junk boy is actually allergic to the chocolate chocolate. That's what it looks like. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Wax. There is something in the wax that they use here in America to preserve chocolate that doesn't agree with me at all. And, um, but yet they don't do that process in other countries. Well, in almost every other country they don't do that process. There's like a couple others that still do, uh, which I've had experiences before. Back when I used to get uh, my um, little boxes from around, the, you know, my uh, boat, boat candy and, um, you know, my other food boxes from around the world, you know, my treat boxes. Now, the problem is you're not, if you look at the ingredients of a chocolate bar or anything that's got chocolate in it, you're not going to see that, and I'm sweating because it's very warm, it's like 85 right now. You're not going to see that the ingredient says um, wax in the chocolate because it's part of the chocolate making process. And they're just going to put the ingredients of the chocolate, you know, like uh, cocoa beans, cacao, whatever, added sugars, you know, stuff like that. But if it's part of a making process, they're not going to say wax, you know. Uh, they're just going to probably have it under, like, preservatives, you know, that or added ingredients, something like that. Because, I mean, if you've ever seen, you know, if you've ever seen a chocolate making process, you know, like in a plant, and then... Um, you then go to the store and buy a chocolate bar, it's not going to, or if you go to the website, it's not going to say, and then we heated the chocolate to liquid proportions to such and such degrees, and then we moved it to the other room to cool it down, and you know, uh, we poured it into the molds. It's not going to say that, so that's why it's best for me to just, as a rule, and it's with the cheaper chocolates, too. I found out through trial and error. Fortunately, that's what you have to do when you have food allergies and you have to pin it down exactly what it is. Um, but, yeah, it's with the cheaper chocolates, but with the high-end chocolates like, like this, then there's not the wax. Oh. <clears throat> because there's better... Um, ingredients that go into it that's what it is so anyways <coughs> thank you so so much for watching uh i hope you appreciate these little breaks i know i have this huge video back you know this huge video game backlog you guys would be just like shocked to see how big my backlog is and i'm still doing video games so I can still have videos for let's plays and you know videos for content and all this so it the backlog it just there's the backlog and then still doing videos you know still doing let's plays but hey I still hope you enjoy these videos I hope you enjoy my video games I have like I said like I've said before there's more selection that is coming. Uh, as you can see, I just released uh, the first video in my Minecraft series. Um, I hope to do more Minecraft in the future. Uh, actually, today I was talking to one of my uh, friends I've known for a while. And he suggested a new game for me to play as a co-op game with him. It's a game I've only seen YouTube 
uh, I've seen a couple of YouTubers do it before, but I've never played it myself. And he suggested Don't Starve. So if I'm able to get a copy of Don't Starve for the PC, then I'll start doing Don't Starve Let's Plays. And you can see all our shenanigans, us dying, all that fun stuff. Anyways, I'm getting too warm. I'm going to move in my room with the, uh, with the fan. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. And on a healthy note.